Dad, under some things. Go for it. <laughs> I need a glow up to help me. I'll help you. Episode 17, Paper Parachute. So for the paper parachute, I'm going to be using a paper napkin, some tape, a clothespin, some string, a pair of scissors, and a ruler for measuring. You're also going to want a passenger for your parachute, and I've got a little finger puppet here. And the first step is to lay out your paper napkin. And what we're going to do here is measure out four strings to attach to each of the corners. I used eight inches for the length of my string. And you can kind of mess around with that. I would suggest at least eight inches and maybe go up from there. And what I like to do is just kind of lay about an inch of each string in the, in the corner of my napkin. And then what I'll do is go back and take a piece of tape and securely fasten each of the strings down. And this is the part you really want to focus on because often what kids will do is just kind of skim over this part and they won't stick it down tightly. And then later the parachute will just kind of fall apart. So you really want to press down. Uh, then I'm going to gather the other ends of all my strings and pull them up together. You can kind of see the shape of the parachute take, take form there. And what I did here is just threaded it through the center of my clothespin. And I'll give you a closer view here. And then what you do is take that string and double it back on itself and then just wrap a piece of tape around it. It's a little bit tricky to do this part. Uh, it's a little hard to show as well, but uh, if it's secured, you give it a good tug, then it's not going to come off. Then I attached my passenger and we're ready for testing. You can definitely just throw these parachutes up in the air and they'll work great. If you can have a, a stool and get a little higher, that's even better. Or if you can go up onto a second story, you're going to have a little more time to observe what your parachute's doing. And so if you have that inside or even what I'll show you in a minute here is outside testing, although wind will have a big factor on how it flies. Stop motion science! Parachutes work on the principle of drag or air resistance. If our turtle were to fall in Earth's gravity without any air around, there would be nothing resisting its motion, and it would continue to fall faster and faster towards Earth. Now let's imagine we are falling with the turtle, but this time in the atmosphere. Because there is air in our atmosphere, and air has mass and inertia, a force is being applied up on the turtle as it collides with air molecules. This collision or friction between the turtle and the air is called drag. All a parachute does is increase this force simply by being spread out over a larger area and creating more collisions and resistance with the surrounding air. I think a great comparison for kids to think of is sticking your hand out the window and turning it sideways as opposed to up and down, and you'll feel the difference in force. I went ahead and made a couple variations of the paper parachute. This one uses tissue paper, and the shape is different. I cut out a large octagon, and that means that there's going to be eight connection points instead of four, like the napkin. And this is more of a parachute that you'd see in rocket design or uh, re-entry into Earth's atmosphere or possibly entry into Mars atmosphere. Uh, a little bit stronger and less likely to fail. Instead of a clothespin, I used a binder clip here, but attached it with the same process. And that will then attach to my turtle. The last one I did, I used three pieces of attached uh, toilet paper together. Very simple, um, four connection points with my strings. Again, the same process, and I attach them to a paper clip, a large paper clip. This is what we use in the classroom for the parachute project when we do it in first grade. And the best part of all of these is really just taking them out and testing them and trying to figure out what's working, what's not working well. Pause here. It's certainly nice to have someone helping you out with this one so you can have someone retrieving it and watching it while the other person launches it. And I was lucky enough to have my wonderful daughter help me. And it's really a lot of fun for the whole family. So I hope you enjoy this project. And I really look forward to hearing how it goes. A big thanks to my family. And I look forward to hearing about your paper parachutes.